guys? Welcome to today's video. On the video today, I'm gonna be cutting a bob haircut using my brand new razor cutting tool. This is the Tri Razor, uh, available for pre-order right now on our website, shopfse.com. So you can check that out. Click the link in the description to place your order. We're gonna start shipping them out December 21st of 2020. So coming up just in about a week and a half. So get your order in, get in line. We got a ton of people that have already ordered. Thank you guys so much if you're one of those people. Also in this video, I wanna do a giveaway. So if you're a subscriber to this channel, I wanna say thank you. Post in the comments below if you are a subscriber and I'm gonna choose one, maybe two, maybe three lucky people out of that comment section to win their very own tri razor. So make sure that you post that your subscriber below in the comments. Also like this video and share it with all of your hairdresser friends out there. So one more thing before this video starts, I started a private haircutting club that meets every single Monday morning and we cut hair together over Zoom. Uh, you can become a part of that club by going to freesaloneducation.com. It is a paid uh, subscription, so you pay $50 a month and we do classes every single week together, hands-on, over Zoom. It's really, really fun. We're seeing a lot of growth in those stylists. So if you're looking for a stylist that trains with me, go to stylislocator.com, put in your address, and you'll see some stylists come up if they have a blue check mark next to their name. That means that they train with me on a weekly basis. So go to freesaloneducation.com to sign up for my virtual cutting club, or just download the FSE Now app, click membership, and upgrade to the virtual cutting club membership. You'll have access to all the past classes that we've done. And then also we'll get all the alerts for the upcoming Zoom classes every Monday. All right, guys, can't wait to show you this haircut. Let's get started. Here we go. All right, so one thing about the tri razor that I want you guys to notice, we've got the 100% cutting side. So I'm gonna use that to start my lines in the haircut. Now, I've got the choice of creating texture as well. Uh, depending on the density of the hair is when I'm gonna start to go to those different sides. For now, I wanna just go in with that 100% side. I'm gonna take a vertical section. We're actually just gonna go straight down the center and I want it to be the width of the T right here. So if you guys see this, so I'm gonna work straight down the center, but I want it to be the width of these T that's going to be the size of my section. I grab this hair in my hand. And because I went a little bit above that occipital bone area, I'm going to get a little more of a graduation in my haircut. If I just went to the straight, the straight line of this, so if I went below occipital bone, I would bring that down. And when I go in to cut it, I'd basically just be cutting layers. What I want to do is I want to create that graduated feel. I go a little bit above that occipital bone. I comb the hair down just like this. I hold the hair pretty close to the head. So you can see, and this is one of the key things, like any razor you're using, you can see here when I bunch this hair in my hand that some of it is coming straight out from the head and some of it's being pulled down. Now the key here is to get a nice movement up and down with the razor because the more movement you have, the lighter it's gonna be. So that's really, that should be your fo your main focus here. I'm gonna comb the hair down, hold it in my hand, and then I'm gonna take my razor and I'm just gonna work up and down just like this and until I get through this section. You'll start to see that I'll get a little slight bevel with the weight. Now I'm gonna take another section here right next to it. I've got my guide from the other side. I'm just gonna work up and down until I cut through. Now I'm not so worried about this hairline and what that looks like yet, because I can either go in, pinch the hair and cut it like that, or I can go in with my scissor and define the line depending on the look you're going for. If you want a more textured look, then this is gonna look great. If you want a more precise look, a more precise line, you can go with your scissor in the dry cut, define it that way. Here comes straight back and then right here. Now we over directed everything back a little bit. So what you'll see from that is that we start to get a little bit of a forward line happening and that's what we're going for. So now I'm gonna take down the left side and I'm gonna continue to work up the head comb the hair down. And this is the great thing about a razor cut is you can take thicker sections because you create softer lines. So you don't have to have quite as much. It's not that you don't have to have control, but you don't have to have quite as much control with the weight because it's softer. So again, I only take as much hair as will fit in the razor. And now I'm gonna elevate just slightly above. So just like that and cut through. Same thing, slightly elevate now because I'm working up the head shape and I'm just gonna cut nice soft feel. Be honest, depending on the density, I'm probably just going to bring all of this down now and cut into it because there's not going to be much to cut. So here, even more elevation, and I'm just going to work my way through. So you guys can see that soft textured feel to it already. Now we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So again, slight elevation now. Here's where the sectioning really comes into play as well because as we work through that 
front or we s separated the front and the back. The great thing about this when cutting a bob, whether you're cutting with a razor or scissors, is that when you split the front and the back at the hairline, instead of going up here behind the ear, you actually allow yourself to not create that hole because all that density is the same. A lot of times we bring this hair into the back to cut it. And when we do that, we're over directing it, but it's not the same density or the same, it doesn't have the same part of the hairline. So you end up with some shorter hair on the one side. It's always my goal whenever I'm cutting to use that that sectioning right at the hairline so that I don't create a hole or things that I don't want to have in the hair. Now we've got that short to long and create that side parting now. So I'm going to let down both sides and we're going to go with a left hand side parting. So right here. So we have a weak side, which is this side. So not as much density. And then we have a heavy side over here. This is where all the hair is now going to fall. Comb this hair down. And now I've got that line already kind of planned out. I'm going to comb the hair down. And because this is the weaker side, it doesn't have as much density. I'm not worried about it being too heavy. So I can go in and actually take all this hair condensed into my hand and then draw my line from there. So I can just come straight across just like that. And I can decide as I'm going, well, what do I want this line to look like? Do I want it to be more kind of straight across or do I want it to have a slight bit of an angle? We're going to create a slight angle on this. I want kind of a long bob feel to it. So you can see that creates a nice soft line for us. And with scissor work, you'd have to go in and point cut that like crazy to get that look. I think it's got a really nice modern feel to it. Now we're going to do a different technique on the opposite side because now we're working on the heavy side. So I'm just going to break this up and I'll go right at parietal ridge here. Still working on a diagonal forward parting li or parted line here. Comb the rest over just like that. I'm going to clip it. I'm going to do the same thing I did on the opposite side for this section. So I'll work short to long. I've got that short to long line. And then when I take this heavier part of the section, this is all going to now, so now all of this weight is now going to fall over top of this haircut. So I don't want to hold everything down here and cut it because it would just be super heavy. So what I'm going to do is now take the rest of this section and just elevate it up a little bit. And there's a couple things we can do. So now I can take one of my texturizing sides. So I'll go 25% of the cut here. Uh, Hairstyles channel, we do, we will ship to all over. So if you just click the link, you should be good to go to order. Let me know if you have any issues. We cut from parietal ridge. I created a diagonal forward line. Now what I'm gonna do here is bring this out, elevate it even higher. I'm gonna take the 25 texture side, create some texture through it. Then I'm gonna take the 100 razor and cut it. We create a little bit of texture, take out a little bit of weight and then cut it off. Go texture and I'll go in a diagonal movement and then I'm going to go through here and then just 100 cut it. So just like that, we create tons of texture through it and we have a long bob. It happens really fast. Now, what I want to do is I want to blow it dry and then after I blow it dry, we're going to go in and do some detail work. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and do some detail work. Now I'm not going to do it all with the razor. I will do some of it with it because I want to create, I want to show you guys how you can combine two tools to create, you know, the look you're going for. So right here, we created a really quick bob haircut. And now what I'm going to do is go in with my scissor. This is the five inch scissor here. And I'm going to cut a perimeter line. So you can see you got a nice soft graduation right here. And then that perimeter line is all we're going to really work on. So right here, using the tip of the scissor blade, go through. You can see how you can already start to define that line through it. Yep, we shipped to Canada for sure. Yeah, this, uh, th well, this mannequin did have previous layers through it. Nothing crazy, um, but there were some. going to smooth a little bit more because once I start cutting that, I like to uh, go and just refine it a little bit. So I'm just going to refine just the edges real quick. And then I'm going to show you guys a technique, a couple techniques with the razor to 
find or to add a little bit more texture and just kind of finalize the fringe area. I like the texture that's already there. I want to match up some texture on this side. So this is really just, you know, kind of deciding how you want to add your finishing touches to it. Right here, I'm going to go in. I can use the 25% side just so that I'm not removing a ton of hair. You can see how easy that slides through and it starts to, it'll start to really open up and create some of those textured so that softens that a little bit. Now I'm going to cut side fringe, which is really simple. You just take a triangle out of this front fringe area, find the parting first, take a triangle out. So I got this triangle and I bring it over, got my 100% side and I just work through just like that and cut. That'll start to create the side fringe. So I take another triangle, bring it over. So now it's removing tons of weight from that fringe area, making it nice and soft and creating that angle at the same time. I'll add some texture spray to it. guys so if you made it this far make sure you post that in the comments below i love seeing that you guys made it all the way through the video also remember if you want to win the tri razor post that you're a subscriber in the comments below as well like the video and please share it with all of your friends and if you haven't yet pre-ordered a tri razor go to shopfsc.com link is in the description thank you guys so much for the support i'll see you guys on the next video thanks